This screen flow is to help show you how the number spreadsheet and the keyboard maestro macro can work together to help you create lots of calendar events at the same time. The idea is that you begin with a list of events. So it could be, for example, uh, your children's sports matches at their school, or um, your, you get a list of lectures that you would like to attend from a university or a college, anything. This happens to everybody at some point or another. There's a list of things that they need to put into their calendar. And this is a great way to do it. So what we're doing is we're taking advantage of Fantastical's natural language parsing. So we can put in things like the name of the event, where it's going to take place, uh, the date that the event is happening, uh, how long the event is going to be, a URL if we want it, and when we want an alert to happen. Now the calendar is uh, smart matching. So what uh, Fantastical will do is in this case it will look for the first calendar that starts with G. Well, as you can see this is episode 0 of Automators so I actually want it to go into my podcasting calendar and I have a few calendars that start with P so I'm going to type in podcasting. Uh, what we have here in column G is just a very simple formula. Uh, it will always equal the first entry. Uh, so of course you can go through and if you wanted to say okay so the first three uh, events go onto my podcasting calendar and then after that they go onto my general calendar you can do that and then you could just drag down if you wanted to to fill those. Now what we have here is we I have generated using a formula um, I've taken all of the information that we've put into the event name, location, the start, duration, um, URL which we don't have here, alert and the calendar, and I've put it together in a string, which we can then take. And then of course, this could just be pasted into Fantastica. So this is great because as we can see, everything here gets put straight in and Fantastica figures everything out for us. But what we need to do is if we've got more than one event, so say for example, we have lots of events, well, First of all, you can use a spreadsheet to just add days to uh, something. So here I'm adding 14 days because Automators gets posted every two weeks. And what I'm just going to do here, so I'm just going to do this and then voila, we get a nice long list of events. So the question is, what do I do with all of this now? Well, I copy it to my clipboard and then I use Keyboard Maestro and I execute a um, Keyboard Maestro macro. Now, what we're going to do, we're just going to take a quick look at this Keyboard Maestro macro. It's a very simple macro. What it does is for each event in the lines on my clipboard, it will go through and do something. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking advantage of the fact that Fantastical supports AppleScript and Keyboard Maestro also supports AppleScript. So here we're setting a variable, which is a temporary storage block container called event. And it's going to be the first line of the clipboard. And then when we run, when it, the script runs itself again, it will be the second line. So our Apple script is very simple. Tell application keyboard maestro engine to set my event to get variable event. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the keyboard maestro variable and I'm setting it to an Apple script variable. And then uh, I'm telling application Fantastic L2 to pass my event and add it immediately. You can allow Fantastic L2 to ask you to confirm every event that you add or you can just have it added immediately. Now, in this case, because we're using this numbers sheet, uh, it's going to have correct syntax and everything should work, providing you've made no mistakes. So we can tell it to add immediately. If you didn't want it to do that, then you can just delete the with add immediately and it won't do that. So let's run the macro. So let's execute the Keyboard Maestro macro, taking all of the events from numbers and add them to my calendar. As you can see, my calendar is empty right now, but if we do this, look at all of those events appearing. As you can see, it's extremely fast and it just went through and added 21 events to my calendar. This also means you know now the events that we'll be publishing.